My name is Allison and I am a Spanish teacher. I'm also the founder of The Cultural Classroom. The Cultural Classroom is a small business where you can find resources dedicated to the empowerment of underserved communities and populations in the Spanish classroom, such as looking at diversity within the Latino and Hispanic populations, culture, and language. In today's video, we'll be focusing and digging in on cultural web quests and digital notebooks. What are they and how can you even use them in your classroom? Let's find out today. Cultural web quests in the form of digital notebooks were actually inspired by my desire to make a digital planner, like an ideal digital planner for myself a couple years back. And after taking some classes on how to make digital planners, I realized that there was an opportunity to use digital notebooks and digital planners in the classroom. They could be a really great way to organize material and to um, allow students to surf the web in a very controlled way. And so I basically took this digital planner notebook approach and meticulously organized material um, by topics and utilized the power of the internet just to shower kids with uh, different aspects of various cultures. You can find these web quests, these cultural web quests, these digital notebooks on my Teachers Pay Teachers site or as an exclusive bundle of all of them on Tech for World Language Teachers, which all the links will be posted below in the description box. I love all of these cultural web quests. I have cultural web quests that look at Colombia. I have cultural web quests that look at Puerto Rico. I have cultural web quests that look at Navidad in Puerto Rico. I have uh, cultural web quests that look at um, Mexico. Uh, I have a taste of different countries. And it's just really cool. Like, I just have these, this just variety of cultural web quests that students can look at that can be paired with different units, lessons, um, different times of the year, etc, etc. They're great to use when you are, um, you know, you want some extra time in the class, you want to teach them about a lesson, you want to differentiate learning, you want um, honestly, some downtime so that you can do something and they can work on a self-paced task. task. Um, it's just so varied the different ways that you can use these cultural web quests in the classroom. So let me show you um, Viva Mexico, um, which is the Mexican Independence Day pocket. And so first off, everything is hyperlinked. So when you click on the tabs, the tabs are hyperlinked and you will jump to that page, which is pretty cool. And the tabla de contenidos um, is hyperlinked as well. So the todo sobre mi, where it starts, it's hyperlinked as well. So where it has it, everything is embedded in the background. So the students, they can't mess with what's on the page. So I'm like dragging my mouse. You can't really mess with what's on the page. So what they can do is they can add a text box to respond to the question. So when you think of Independence Day, what do you think of? Does your country celebrate Independence Day? So I didn't want to assume that every student doing this project was um, like from the United States of America. Um, you know, uh, I know personally, I have a variety of students that are from different countries. Um, so they can talk about their experience with Independence Day if that is a thing in their country, because it might not be. When students have a sheet like this, a page like this, where it has a prompt and they have to respond to a question, they can insert a text box and type their answer. And so that's how you would respond to a page like this because otherwise you can't really like, you can't drag or do anything else on the page. You would have to insert a text box or even a shape because you can type in a shape as well. Here, there's a video for them to do. There's a graphic organizer for them to fill out based off of the video. And again, they would enter text boxes to put their answers um, that are related to the video. 
here we get a little bit of that web quest app just we get the web quest action by um you know um look, taking a look back at the um the past at mexico in the past prior to the um conquerors which i think is very important for um children to know that there was a a a pre there was a pre conquerors time period um i made this graphic organizer or rather this um i guess i made this um infograph for students so they could kind of get an idea of how long slavery um inequality lasted in mexico or what is present day mexico and um, when Mexico ended up getting its independence. And then there's questions based off of it. So it's really good for levels one, it's good for levels two. Um, it's just a really good uh, packet. And so they get to look at what present day Mexico is like um, in celebrating it. A Taste of Colombia is my other one that I just adore. Um, it has tons of information about um, you know, you can explore Palenque, just jump straight to that section. Um, you can go back up a couple of slides, look at Cumbia, um, listen to some music that celebrates the culture of Palenque. Um, I really enjoy designing infographs, so this is an infograph that I designed as well. And then questions based off of it. So students get that Spanish information from it as well. So these web quests are a lot of fun. I really enjoy these web quests a lot. And again, remember, if you are interested in um, exploring these web quests, learning more about these web quests and digital notebooks, head over to my Teachers Pay Teachers site or to the Tech for World Languages site and you'll be able to check out all of these uh, web quests and see which ones pair with the holidays that you're interested in or with the geographical regions or with whatever topic is available. There's several that are available. So I hope that you enjoy it. Um, have a wonderful school year. Un beso. Ciao.